I was doing a little bit of pondering last night about the um, the way that our movies and TV series tend to be um, shaped in terms of storyline, where very often there'll be a hero and an evil person, and this one hero is the one person who can save the day, save the whole world, or save the town, or save their family, or whatever it is. And I was wondering to myself, why has it been shaped in that way specifically? Why um, is it such a common theme to the stories that we like to watch and read, um, but not necessarily a common theme in our everyday real lives. Um, and one of the possibilities that I came up with is that what it creates in a kind of a subtle way is this sort of a belief within us that we have to have superpowers or some special ability or be hyper intelligent or have some really special skill or trait in order to to make, be able to make a difference in the world in order to make the world better in some way and that if we don't have that then we should just wait for someone who do, does have it to come along and save the day um, and I'm not saying that this is this is the case and it's the only relevant point but when I look at myself a lot of what I compare myself to when I think about the difference that I'd like to make and, and start questioning myself becomes there's nothing special about me I don't have some kind of magical powers what could I do if I'm not special, I can't make these changes I want to make. The, I don't have the power to do it. And that's the line of thoughts that I have inside my head. That I'm not special enough. I don't have the right abilities. I don't have the high enough level of intelligence. I don't have whatever it takes to do the things I want to do. I don't have those things. Because I'm not like those special people in, in the movie and TV, TV shows and so at least for me I do use that um, that theme to compare myself to and it's a sort of a running commentary on all the reasons why I'm not good enough because I'm not some kind of superhero and the more I thought about it the more I realized how much we actually can be pretty easily shaped by the stories that we're watching and read, reading and listening to. And obviously this goes hand in hand with, you know, self-image, self-definition. It's the way that I see myself, that I've defined myself as not being good enough. I've defined myself as not being capable. Yes, all of those things are true. Um, but it's all part of a bigger picture and bigger pictures always have a lot of different factors, a lot of different things contributing to the whole. There's a lot of cogs at work. Um, and so then uh, now the next question comes in of, all right, now that I've asked myself these questions and I've made these connections within myself of uh, how it appears to be that I have actually allowed myself to shape myself following these um, stereotypes and these definitions and these um, beliefs around being special or being a superhero. What now? Okay, well, another thing that I've been looking very much at uh, is having clearly defined goals and having obtainable goals and when I say obtainable I don't mean like small and um, not special goals I mean that yes some of them may take years to obtain but if I set aside my 
self-judgment and my self-doubt and look at it really practically, really objectively and say, okay, what steps do I need to take in order to get there? Am I practically able to take those steps? And from that starting point of being practical, just applying common sense, is this goal that I'm looking at attainable? And from there, looking at, okay, cool. How do I actually then start implementing it? So everything seems to always come back down to just take it back to basics, take it back to practicality, take it back to common sense. Things are not as complicated as we believe they are and as they appear to be, because once we break things down into the basic simple elements of what it is, it's not as complicated as we thought. It's just like those um, those moments of fear of, I don't want to do something because what if this goes wrong and I can't do it? And uh, what if I, I fail? What if this? What if that? And we make our fear so big, but once we move past the fear and, and actually do the thing that we were afraid of, it's like, oh, it wasn't actually that bad. Um, okay. And then the fear suddenly just kind of goes away because all it was was me building up this huge anxiety and and um, all of these thoughts within myself and all of this fear within myself without just going back to basics, going back to the practicality of what is involved, what is the step-by-step path that I need to take here and supporting myself by saying, okay, if I do fail, if these fears of mine do come true, how will I deal with them? How will I support myself to, um, to try again, to recover, to stand up again, to come back to myself? And it becomes simple again. So, we don't have to be superheroes and we don't have to stay stuck in that loop of all the reasons why we can't do things. And the solution is pretty simple, actually. It's just a matter of implementing it, of slowing down, take a few deep breaths, Uh, writing things down, looking at things practically, breaking down goals and objectives and mini objectives within those objectives and um, reprogramming how we think sometimes, which, okay, sounds complicated, but it really isn't. It's just about identifying the not-so-helpful thoughts and replacing them with more solution-oriented thoughts. And... Being able to ask questions about ourselves, being able to question any aspect about who I am and why I am who I am. Because sometimes it's difficult to look in the mirror and really see ourselves for who we are. Being able to really look at the thoughts that we have and um, and just face them and decide if that's who we want to be. So... Everything is here because we are here and moving forward, it's up to you who you're going to be and how you're going to be and what you're going to believe and what you're going to think and what you're going to do and what you're going to say. Thanks for watching. You're going to see me next time.